Hi everyone and welcome to the Akshat Show. <laughs> Let me start by telling you an interesting bit of trivia. Act Naturally is not a Beatles song. It is a cover of a Buck Owens country song. And how do I know this? Because I just finished watching the latest Amazon Prime series based on yet another video game. Also, the icing on that trivia cake is that Ringo Starr sang the lead. But let's cut the jello cake. Sorry, I mean cut to the chase. This is a zero spoiler review. So I'll just say that it establishes its main characters and the main quest pretty quickly. The backstories do not take the front seat for any main character except one. This character is played by Walton Goggins, who Marvel fans will recognize as the villain from Ant-Man and the Wasp, won't you? Now, what's Fallout like? Is it worth investing almost 420 minutes of your life? Here's the answer. Watch it if you do like post-apocalyptic, mission-based, gory, violent, multi-character, slow-moving shows. Avoid it if you do not like suspending your disbelief, exploding or imploding limbs and heads, light-hearted hand waves of science fiction, and the fact that the heroine will never die. I'm just saying, video games in which the main character never achieves the objectives are rare. Although the characters definitely take their sweet time progressing from one level to the next. I could have done away with the box story of Walton Goggins' character. One interesting spiral that came from his dialogue to his wife was about his plans to buy a ranch near Bakersfield. You remember that opening bit of trivia I told you about Act Naturally? Buck Owens was the pioneer of the Bakersfield sound in American country music. And I love the song Space to Bakersfield. Are you listening? It's these little things that make shows interesting to me because they remind me of other things. In fact, if you watch my other reviews, you will find lots more connections and spirals. Trust me. Online ratings are through the roof for this show, just like they are for The Last of Us and The Witcher, two other game-based shows on HBO and Netflix. That's quite understandable, since the target audience is completely digitally immersed to the point of living a virtual existence, which is the future of today's affluent youngsters. Bet Nostradamus didn't predict this. Nostradamus, Dr. Zeus, rock me Amadeus. I love The Simpsons. Do you too? Share what you think about the symptoms, fallout, or life, the universe, and everything in the comments. As you can tell from that shout out, I love Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, and I also love that Project Bibliotherapy encourages everyone to read more. Check out their link in the description, and if you haven't read Douglas Adams' books, what are you waiting for? Order them now and brighten up your life, unlike the paranoid android, Marvin. So what's the final fallout after watching the full first season of Fallout? I'd say it's amusing for video game aficionados, but not so much if you like proper science fiction shows or movies. The production values are as good as you'd expect from an Amazon production. So watch it if you do like gory violence and post-nuclear holocaust apocalyptic scenarios. Don't expect child-friendly scenes right from the first episode. You have been born. Okay, that is it. Smash that sub button for awesome acts fun. Check out my other reviews, travel vlogs, sports highlight shots and more.